Hey, good evening, Steve. Good evening, Lauren. So, yes, DPS will be out of class tomorrow, but athletics and extracurricular activities will be planned as normal. And so we looked on social media, as many people do, and uh, there were a lot of parents expressing frustration, disappointment with another day of no class. And there were some even homeschool parents, parents that do homeschooling. They were offering child care services. So we talked with parents and students about another day of canceled classes. Rache Christopher is a student athlete and graduating senior at Southern Durham High School for Energy and Sustainability. She has a desire to run track in college, but with teacher demonstrations due to the pay disputes and canceled classes, we asked her how she felt about everything. Honestly, it's a little sad knowing that most of the teachers that I have had, you know, are going through this because, um, you know, people have a life. Christopher says that while she isn't worried about credits right now, she fears that if there are more days off, it could make a difference later. And I feel like they're going to push you back due to the fact that we haven't had those hours and those days that we need in certain classes, you know, to succeed. We also spoke with Latanya Smith. She has a 10th grader at Hillside High School who feels the same. So at the end of the day, when it comes time for exams and testing, that could create a serious issue for these students because they have not received the proper tutelage to take them to the next level. Another day of no class also creates a burden of child care, many depending on family or older siblings. My nephew will be home with me tomorrow and I ha actually have another nephew and a, um, a niece who are toddlers that'll be here too. So, you know, kids run around all day. Got to keep your eye on them. Smith believes this is the time when leaders must come together to put children first. There should be a better way that our legislators in Raleigh, as well as Durham, as well as the school board, they should all find a way to communicate and come together and figure out where are some federal dollars that possibly could be filtered in to help alleviate the stress and the problems. Yeah. Now, we also spoke with Ginger Allison with the organization Bagging It for Kids, and she tells me that their organization with several other partnering groups are actually bagging up lunches right now to be able to provide for families in need. And so those meals will be available. Uh, there will be bagged lunches, and they'll be available at community fridges by noon. Of course, we'll have that information listed on our website if you know a family that will need uh, some food for tomorrow. Reporting live in Durham, Bianca Holman, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.